And we remember this eternal truth. Freedom is not a gift from government. Freedom is a gift from God. Amen. It was Thomas Jefferson who said, the God who gave us life gave us liberty. Our founding fathers believed that religious liberty was so fundamental that they enshrined it in the very First Amendment of our great and beloved Constitution. Yet for too long, the federal government has used the power of the state as a weapon against people of faith, bullying and even punishing Americans for following their religious beliefs. That's been happening. That is why I am signing today an executive order to defend the freedom of religion and speech in America, the freedoms that we've wanted, the freedoms that you fought for so long, and we are doing it in just a little while right over here. Thank you all. Thank you. No American should be forced to choose between the dictates of the federal government and the tenets of their faith. As I campaigned across the country, faith leaders explained that they were prevented from speaking their minds because of a 1954 rule known as the Johnson Amendment. I spoke about it a lot. Under this rule, if a pastor, priest, or imam speaks about issues of public or political importance, they are threatened with the loss of their tax-exempt status. A crippling financial punishment. Very, very unfair. But no longer. I promised to take action if I won. If I didn't win, I gave you no promise, that's for sure. If I didn't win, I guess I'd be gone, right? I'd be out enjoying my life, I think. But I wouldn't be helping you with the Johnson Amendment. And to this end, this financial threat against the faith community is over. In just a few moments, I will be signing an executive order to follow through on that pledge and to prevent the Johnson Amendment from interfering with your First Amendment rights. And you're the people I want to listen to. Other people are allowed to tell me and everybody what to do. I want to hear it from you. And so do a lot of other people. So you're now in a position where you can say what you want to say. And I know you'll only say good and you'll say what's in your heart. And that's what we want from you. You are great, great people. You are great, great people. Thank you. Thank you. This executive order directs the IRS not to unfairly target churches and religious organizations for political speech. No one should be censoring sermons or targeting pastors. And I know one thing, it never stopped Dr. Ben Carson. He said, the heck with the Johnson Amendment, right, Ben? I've been with Ben, and he did what he wanted to do. But not everybody's going to do that, Ben. You know that, right? In America, we do not fear people speaking freely from the pulpit. We embrace it. America has a rich tradition of social change beginning in our pews and our pulpits, perhaps there is no greater example than the historic role of the African-American church as the agent for social progress, sparing our nation to greater justice and equality. We must never infringe on the noble tradition of change from the church and progress from the pew. Thank you. Under my administration, free speech does not end at the steps of a cathedral or a synagogue or any other 
house of worship. We are giving our churches their voices back. We are giving them back in the highest form. With this executive order, we also make clear that the federal government will never, ever penalize any person for their protected religious beliefs.